Hey guys, it is the Lords of Gaston here, bringing to you some Black Ops 2 Hardcore Domination. Wanted to talk a little bit about everybody's favorite subject from Black Ops 2, and that is boosting. Now this is going to be a little bit different than my normal booster video. For those of you that have viewed my channel, seen my videos, know that I'm completely anti-booster. And whenever I see it, I do my very best to screw them up to where they cannot boost anymore. I report them, I put videos on my channel with their names in the feed so everybody sees who these people are that are doing the boosting. This one here is a little bit different. This is a straight up gameplay through my field of view and um, it's not going to show any boosters, it's not going to show anybody using their tack inserts to to do any boosting, but what happened in this one here is I went 40 and 8 in this game, okay, so it was a good gameplay. What happened was I got accused of boosting with absolutely no evidence or even, you know, research the guy that was kind of the lead Yahoo in this in this lobby here, he was partied up with four or five other people in the lobby on both teams. Um, decided that he didn't like the fact that uh, that I had a high KDR on this one here, and um, just decided, hey, this guy's boosting. This Lord's of Gaston guy's boosting. Look, there's another guy on the other team. He's got really low kills and really high deaths, and Lord's of Gaston has really high kills and really, really low deaths, so they must be boosting. Let's all report them. So I got reported by like four different people at least um, for boosting when I wasn't. All I was doing is, is playing hard and, and having a good game, and this guy, because he didn't like it, reported me. So here's my question. Are people that boost worse or the same as people that wrongly accuse people of boosting because they can't handle losing? I almost think that the people that boost are, uh, you know, they're scumbags. Everybody knows they're scumbags. Everybody knows what they're doing. But the guy that's reporting people because he can't handle the fact that he just got his ass handed to him is worse, in my opinion. And it's just sad that a grown man cannot handle losing at a video game. I mean, that's all this is. It's a video game. People take this game way too seriously. Emotions get into it. People rage. It's like, man... You're probably like that same guy that's yelling at your little kid at the on a little league, telling him to man up when he falls down and hurts himself. It's, I I don't get it. So I mean, this guy did this right after the match. As soon as the match ended, he started talking shit about how I was boosting. And uh, I mean, there's really there's no way to do that because you don't have the time to look at it in the theater. You don't have the time to go back and review the film to see if the person you're accusing of boosting is actually do that. Because when I do. You know, if I, if I find something weird or, or something seems wrong, I'll go back after. I'll quit the lobby. I'll go back and I'll watch it, and I'll flip around through, you know, each person to see. And if I see people boosting, all right, then it's on. Or if I just plainly run into them using their tack inserts in a little room or something, okay, they're boosting. But I, I will never just say, okay, this guy did way too good. He just can't be that good because I'm awesome. So I'm just going to go ahead and report him for boosting because he must have been cheating. I mean, that's just such a crock of shit. And, uh, you know, in my opinion, it makes you worse than the actual boosters themselves. I've seen this so many times in, uh, in these games, and as I say in most of my videos, I don't generally wear my mic because I just would argue with people all the time because people are so stupid, and they just annoy me with all the crap that they just throw at you. Um, and just the, the level of just ridiculousness and retardation that people are when they're talking um, I don't wear my mic, so I didn't have a chance to kind of rebut this guy and call him out on it. But uh, I've actually heard that before. I've heard people say, "You know what? I don't like the class you're, you know, you're using. You're you're using a gun I don't like or a setup I don't like, even though it's completely and totally within the, you know, the confines of of how to play the game. They don't like what you're doing, so they report you for cheating. So to me, it kind of seems like maybe this is one of the reasons why." Boosting is such a huge, huge problem in Black Ops 2, because if we've got a ton of people that are reporting boosters that actually aren't boosting, Treyarch or Infinity Ward or whoever's going to go in and review these goes in, looks at this gameplay, after I got reported four times or five times for boosting, sees that I didn't boost at all, they're just going to ignore it. It's kind of the whole cry wolf. If you cry wolf so many times, after a while people are going to stop paying attention to you. So, you know what, it's probably people like this that are making it even worse and making it even easier for boosters to do what they do. They're making it worse for us because the companies are not taking it as seriously because people are doing it just to get back at players that beat them. So, let me know what you think. Um, I'm going to go ahead and send this over to Booster Busters, hope that they can uh, 
you know, throw this up on their channel and feature this because I think this is a big problem. And I've never really heard another video or another commentator talking about this, but it's something that I run into enough that I think that, you know, it warranted an entire video to, to talk about it. It's got to be happening more. If it's happening to me, you know, it is a small YouTuber and, and, and frequent player. For the people that play this game night and day, which it seems like there's some that that's all they do, um, it's got to happen all the time. I mean, it, it just has to. So I think it's something that we need to look at. I think it's something that the community and Call of Duty in general needs to be aware of um, because it's just something that is really becoming a problem on top of the boosting, which is already a big enough problem by itself. So thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it. Um, hope you liked the video. Please like and subscribe. There's going to be lots more coming. I will always update. I try to get at least two or three videos up a week. And... Um, I appreciate the support I've been getting. Thanks a lot, YouTube. Talk to you later. Lords Gaston is out. Target lost. Losing C. Load star awaiting orders. VTOL warship on standby. 1 1. Target tally. Load star inbound. Spark 1 1. Target tally. Charlie. Stabbing. Friendly VTOL warship inbound. Good hits. Proof for immediate reattack. Three confirmed. Be advised, hostile UAV incoming. Securing Charlie. Securing Charlie. Impact on target. PDA to follow. Securing C. We're winning this fight. Nemesis 1-1 one, one is Winchester. Losing A. Losing Bravo. I'm sick of this asshole. Get rid of him. Hostile UAV above. Be advised, hostile counter UAV is online. Securing Bravo. Bravo locked down. 